Five signs God is preparing you for a major breakthrough. Don't worry, you are about to walk into your breakthrough season. So, you want to know if God is preparing you for a major breakthrough. No. In this video, I'm going to be giving you five signs that God is indeed getting ready to do something in your life. But before we go any further and before we get, and before we get to the signs, let me encourage you to subscribe to the Barija Farm and click and give it a thumbs up because the thumbs up is actually free of charge. It costs nothing. So let's first understand what is a breakthrough. So a breakthrough is simply a sudden dramatic end and an expected advancement or success in something. It's a major turning point that opens new possibilities and opportunities. But as a Christian, breakthrough is often something that God does in your life to bless you, heal you, or help you in some ways. It's a supernatural intervention that brings hope, joy, and lasting change. But let's just put it simply this way. A breakthrough is when God shows up and something amazing in your life, immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his powers that is at work with us. We find that in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. This means that God is always ready and willing to do more in our lives than we could ever ask or imagine. He's always looking for ways to bless us, heal us, and help us. So, if I may ask, have you been praying and waiting unto the Lord to do something in your life? So, keep to the last, because this video is for you. Know the signs that God is really preparing you for a major breakthrough. Point number one, you are in the season of waiting. Now, one of the signs that your breakthrough is coming is that you are currently in a season of waiting. You may feel like you've been waiting for a long, long, long time, but God God often uses a waiting season to prepare us for what's ahead. Think about it. If you are about to go for a long journey, wouldn't you take time to prepare for it? Pack your bag, check on your map, and make sure you have everything you need for the journey. Mm -hmm. In the same way, God often uses the season of waiting to prepare us for something great He has for us. He uses it to teach us, grow us, and strengthen us. Point number two. You have been facing challenges. Now, God may allow you to face challenges and difficulties in your life as a way of getting you ready for your breakthrough. It sounds strange, yeah, but it's true. The challenge you face can actually help you to prepare you for what's ahead. They can help you to build your character, your develop your faith, and give you the strength you need to persevere. For instance, the Bible tells us Joseph faced many challenges in his life before he finally had his breakthrough. He was sold into slavery by his brothers, falsely accused of a crime, and thrown into prison. But, but all of these things helped to prepare Joseph for the great things God had in store for him. They helped him to develop his character and give him the strength he needed to endure. Maybe you're, in, you're facing some challenges right now. Maybe you're going through a tough time at work, struggling in your relationship or dealing with some other difficulties. If so, don't be discouraged. Your breakthrough is coming in the midst of your suffering. Point number three, your hunger for God's presence has increased. Now, 
Another sign that God is preparing you for a breakthrough is an increased hunger for his presence. Yes, we are all supposed to hunger for God's presence, but sometimes our hunger for him increases even more as we sense that a blessing is coming. If you find yourself wanting to spend more time in prayer, worship, and reading the Bible, it could be a sign that God is getting ready to do something new and exciting in your life. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. And we find that in Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Point number 4. You're being obedient. Mm -hmm. The Bible is clear that obedience is better than sacrifice. When you check in 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. And while it can be difficult to stay faithful, God always rewards those who are obedient to him. But how can you tell if you're being obedient? One way is to ask yourself, if you're doing everything you know that God has called you to do. For instance, are you reading your Bible originally? Are you, take, are you taking care of your family? Are you working hard and being a good steward of what God has given you? If you're obedient in small things, God will entrust you with big things. And we find that in Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Believe it or not, God has a plan for your life and he will use whatever it takes to get your attention and help you stay on track. Number five, you're seeing God's faithfulness. Now, if you believe in God, you know that he is faithful. But sometimes we need a little reminder of his faithfulness in our lives. When you are on the verge of a breakthrough, God will often show you his faithfulness in a new and powerful way. He wants you to know that he is with you and that he will never leave you. One of the ways God shows his faithfulness is bringing people into your life who will encourage and support you. These people will often come into your life at a just right time and say the right things. God will always show you his faithfulness by providing for your needs. If you are in need of a job, he will open the right doors. If you are in need of a healing, he will provide the right sources. You need to get well. No matter what you are facing, God will show himself faithfully. And when he does, it's a sure sign that your breakthrough, your blessing is coming. Now, I want you to always think about this. Do you see any of these signs in your life? If so, <laughs> great. Get ready for a breakthrough. God is getting ready. Your story is not over yet. God has great things in store for you. If you sense that a major breakthrough is coming, don't be afraid. Embrace it. Get excited about what God is going to do and get ready to see his power and faithfulness in your life like never before. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting the Barija Farm. And if you haven't subscribed, don't sm forget to smash on the subscribe button and let's get together. My name is Robert and I'm out.